I'm going to show you how to do a crossfade in Studio One. Here I am with a piece of audio, and of course we all make mistakes. Let's have a listen to the audio so far. Okay, sometimes when we're recording, we uh, we simply make mistakes, and we need to um, fix them. Okay, so let's fix this first of all by making a crossfade. Well, we need to go from here to here, deleting that piece of audio. And then we're going to simply grab this piece of audio at the bottom of the track and move it to roughly the right place. Let's listen to the edit. Recording, we simply make... Oh, there's a big click there. Sounds okay, awful. Okay, sometimes when we're recording, we simply make mistakes. Okay, you can hear the big click crossfade there. So let's zoom right in on this and make this... Uh, let's make this track really big so we can really focus in on this and get that crossfade exact. So I'm going to zoom a little bit more and you can really see that waveform in pure detail there. It's it's really fascinating how good the waveform looks. Now I can perform a really good overlap and you can see that the audio you're overlapping with is kind of grayed out underneath. Super, super cool indeed. Great feature of Studio One. I'm going to put it about there and you can see there's now a gray area where my crossfade is. All I need to do, making sure it's selected, is hit the X key. It looks like a crossfade on my keyboard. Board. Boom! There's an X. And of course we can manipulate this using the dot to change the style of fade. But I think a linear fade is going to be absolutely fine for this. So let's zoom all the way back out and listen to the crossfade. Okay, sometimes when we're recording we simply make mistakes. And I've got to say that edit was pretty awesome! Let's go on and make another crossfade. Need to, um... And obviously the obvious place here to make a crossfade would be just chopping all this stuff out, delete, and then bringing that over here. Again, we'll zoom right in on this particular area and we're going to overlap it now so we get that nice grey crossfade area. doesn't matter if we overlap a little bit of the end of the audio because it's still going to work. Select that grey area, X, there's a nice crossfade. And again, for this one, I might make it slightly different. So I don't want to chop off that word, so I'll make it slightly more logarithmic. And then we'll zoom all the way out and play this piece of audio that should be nice now. Okay, sometimes when we're recording, we simply make mistakes and we need to fix them. And i got to say that crossfading action there in Studio One is pretty slick and does the job. Sometimes you want to get rid of a load of crossfades and that's fine too. If we go into the file menu and uh, look for, here it is, Studio One. And um, we want to go for keyboard shortcuts. And we say crossfades, remove crossfades. And we can assign it to a hotkey like uh, Control, Alt and Z or uh, Control, Option and Z. Of course, if you're Mac here, assign, done. And now we'll OK that. And then if I zoom right on into these crossfades and do my hotkey, boom, all the crossfades have gone again. Should I need it? Or, of course, Command Z to undo what I just did. So you can make crossfades. You can remove them with ease in Studio One. It's really easy to do it. And I love the fact it shows you the grayed out uh, track that you're overlapping so you can really dial that crossfade in to be absolutely spot on and accurate. If you've got any questions, let me know. And maybe you want to learn simply how to record and edit in Studio One. I got a tutorial on that. Go and watch it now.